The 19th annual Roots and Blues Festival was better than ever. There were 45 acts on six stages over three days, plus tasty food, unique crafts, and a cool kid zone. We have been to every festival since the beginning, and thus we have our favorite stages. Here are some of my best images and clips from this year, beginning with the blues stage. Boogie Barn stage is where many of the younger generation hang out to enjoy alternative music and the funky party scene. There's an adjacent bar and plenty of shade to help escape the heat. It's also the best place to dance, which I'm usually doing except when I'm shooting video. Here are four fun and exciting clips of some of the best Boogie Barn performances. Shade stage focuses on folk music. Thanks to the massive shade trees, there's great ambience. We heard some amazing performers and were impressed by their intensity and skills. It was a young ukulele player who drew the largest crowd with her unique music combined with her ballerina moves. We were awestruck. The main stage music begins at 5 o'clock. 
when there's plenty of room to dance on the lawn. The real magic begins after the sun goes down. The crowds pack in and the colors light up the stage. Here are five clips that capture some of the main stage highlights, beginning with one of the most famous musicians to ever play in Salmon Arm, blues legend Taj Mahal. During a break on the main stage, Taimani once again blew us away with her hot ukulele. And here's a great clip of one of our favorite bands at the festival, Ganga Giri. Oh my goodness gracious me. What to do? We all know what to do. Because right here, right now, is the promised land. And we are all beautiful teachers. Are we having a very fine time? This is the promised land, and we are the best teachers for each other. Right here, right now, isn't it? Follow the Guru, you are the Guru. Everyone loved Sergeant Garcia with his unique blend of reggae and Latin he calls Salsa Muffin. One of our favorites was the John Butler Trio from Australia. The crowd loved his incredible guitar licks and his amazing style. The festival reached a real rock guitar climax on Sunday night with the last act, Johnny Lang, who was as fun to watch as he was to listen to. <laughs> 